Right, now, Lee. Now, then, what are you doing here? If it wasn't such a bad joke, Jim, I'd ask you the same thing. Well, before you start, I've had it up to hear from Stephen about turning myself in. Actually, I think it was an incredibly brave thing to do. Yeah, well, thank you. It doesn't seem that way when you're banged up in a cell all day, let me tell you. So what are you doing about getting out? Have you got yourself a lawyer yet? Well, I've filled the forums in for legal aid. What, have you not seen anyone? Well, I don't want to see anyone. What's the point? The point is, Jim, that a good lawyer can make all the difference between getting out of here and going down for, for 20 years. Natalie, I'm going down, so I am. Now, why don't you do yourself a big favour, hmm? Just go home. No, I will not. I'm your friend, Jim, and I'm not going to give up on you no way, no matter what you say. Now, listen, I've got an idea. The point is, the right lawyer can make a jury understand why you did it. Understand, you're saying? Natalie, I don't understand. Exactly. You didn't set out to kill anybody. Oh, but didn't I? Now, now I don't want your money. And don't get me wrong, it's a very generous offer. But I'm not having you throwing money at some silver-tongued lawyer who's going to twist the truth beyond recognition. Oh, stop being so naive, Jim. That's just how the system works. Well, fine. But don't you understand? If I buy a result, Natalie, that makes me as bad as the man I killed. Just you listen to me a minute. All this has obviously had a terrible effect on you. I mean, maybe you should... I don't know, maybe you should see a doctor. You're probably depressed. Of course I'm depressed. I'm in jail. You want to do me a favour? Yes, I do. Well, take yourself home. And don't come back here hassling me with all your talk about fancy lawyers, eh? Natalie, I'm guilty. I killed him, didn't I? That makes me a murderer. And like it or not, murderers belong in jail, don't they? Thank you for coming. It means a lot to me, so it does. I'll see you. He's still playing drums all the time. But mm -hmm. oh. What in the name of God are you doing here? Look at the cut of you. Huh? Should be in your bed. Never mind that. They'll keep playing up. Oh, well, I wouldn't expect you to understand. If just turn yourself into the police, it'd be mad. No. You know, I've been laying in the hospital bed, trying to work out what's going on. I mean, that, that someone grassed you up or something. No. So why are you being so stupid then? Because I killed someone, that's why. Not deliberately you didn't. I didn't go round there for a cup of tea. Dad. You were angry. You know, it was a spur-of-the-moment thing, a crime of passion, if you will. You didn't mean to kill him. He'd still be alive if he hadn't tried to kill me. It doesn't matter. He's dead and I'm responsible. Oh, you stop saying that. I should have stopped saying that. It's true. Are these your exact words to the police? I killed Jez quickly. More or less. And this is all down in black and white, is it? In front of your brief. I'm pleading guilty, Stephen. What does it matter what the exact words are? It flipping does matter. Because if I can get you a decent barrister, I might be able to get you out of this mess. Never mind the mess. I'm guilty. Well, have you told Mum about this? No, I haven't. Well, don't you think maybe you should? No, I don't. Just leave her out of this, OK? You understand? <laughs> the police have nothing on you. What you want to do is keep your head down. Look, the police had already started a murder investigation. How long do you think it would have been before they knocked on my door? Not necessarily. There must have been a queue of people out there waiting to kill Jez. Oh, well, that's great, that is. Sticking out. The police go and arrest the wrong man. Who cares, as long as you get off? I care. Why? Because that's the way my daddy brought me up in Belfast. You do the crime, you do the time. Well, you won't be saying this in five years' time, will you? Do you know something, silly old me? I thought I'd brought you up the same way. Well, a fat lot of good it did. Oh, well, you've been the model father, haven't you? What with all the boozing and knocking me mum about. I'm wasting my breath, aren't I? Look, it's very noble what you're doing, Dad. But if Jez had his way, I'd be dead by now. Still doesn't give me the right to kill him. It gives you a bloody good excuse to keep your gob shut, doesn't it? I can't keep my gob shut. Look, I did what I did. It's happened. I have to face the consequences. 